Here we are at our 1987 Sea Ray 390 Sundancer for sale here on Cherokee Lake. This is a freshwater lake in East Tennessee, just east of Knoxville, Tennessee. Current slip is transferable if someone wanted to keep it here. It's been here on Cherokee Lake since 2005 when the current owner purchased it. Had new bottom paint at that time. Bottom was just cleaned last year. And this came to Cherokee by way of Knoxville, Tennessee at some point. Um, it was in Iowa. Don't have the full owner history. Those are the three places that we know it's been from the current owner, but this guy's owned it since, again, since 2005. This is powered by twin Crusader. They're uh, 350 Crusaders. They're direct drive inboard engines, V8s, 454 cubic inch. And we've got an 8KW Westerbeek generator on board. So here, before I step in the cockpit, I do want to point out our extended swim platform, drop-down swim boarding ladder. Canvas was new in 2006. And this is just a little walkway to make things easier to get over, get over to your cockpit. You'll notice I've got the engine hatches uh, removed. Uh, center panel is in place, and that's just uh, for the purpose of the video. So I can show you things a bit more easily. Get you that full 360 degree tour. So you won't hear me mention the asking price in the video. That's posted on our website. We don't mention them in the video tours because they'll, they'll often change until a listing is sold. So here at your helm station, you've got shift and throttle controls, compass, trim tabs. You've got a navigator, um, distance calculator, a data marine depth finder. We've got 1,478 hours shown on the port side engine, full engine instrumentation, and 1,439.7 shown on the starboard engine. This is where Ray Marine C80 uh, color chart plotter and uh, radar display mounts right there. Got a remote spotlight control. This is equipped with a windless anchor, but the windless is not operational and it's being sold as is. VHF radio, 12 volt power outlet here. Got a pair of wipers, radar arch overhead, ship spell right over here on your companion seat. And I, I'm gonna kind of give you one more 360 shot here in the cockpit, and then we're gonna step down to the cabin. I'll, I'll revisit this area and show you in the engine compartment. So. Stepping down here into the cabin. A uh, coffee table, I should point out, is not mounted down. That'll slide. We've got an L-shaped dinette. That will slide out some, give you some more sleeping capacity. We've got AM, FM, CD stereo. And this is going to be your power panel. Remote generator start here as well. So it takes two 30 amp shore power plugs. And we've got some storage kind of throughout the boat. It's all vintage. Vintage 1987. We do have two marine air units. One here, that's the uh, controls for one here in the cabin. That's actually located just underneath the seat. And then uh, galley over here. That's an electric refrigerator that was added recently. Double stainless sink. This is a Princess three burner electric wrench. Microwave just underneath. Little built in bar table area. And then there's a little divider that's gonna separate that bunk room from the rest of the boat. I'll show you that here in a moment. So again, visit our website for the full list of specifications on this one and the current asking price www.yournewboat.com when you make it to our website all you gotta do is look for the find your new boat button it's gonna be in the top left hand corner of the page when you click that that'll show you all of our inventory and order price all you gotta do is scroll down until you get to this one again the 1987 sea ray 390 sun dancer so now uh, that top bunk will actually unhook and lower down and then you've just got a big bench seat um, I believe 
I'll have photos of that at the website. Now, we do not have the full Isenglass enclosure. Those are the two side curtains that, that are going to go uh, just to the left of your companion seat and right of your driver's seat. We've got central vac here, and then your second marine air unit is going to be mounted underneath that bench right there. Let me show you how this divider works. So right now you can see into kind of the living room area. That just raises up. You got a little pin there that locks that into place. And then when you come back out here, that's closed off. And then you've also got a, uh, a door that's going to close this off all the way. It goes over and then, and then it actually slides to close. So, pop it open. Here's your head compartment. Vanity sink, that's a vacuum flush head. And we've got a full walk-in shower. You gotta go up to about a 37 and larger uh, cruiser before you're gonna have a separate shower stall. So a lot of people, want, it's one, one thing they want in a lot of these boats. So your shower head's gonna be right over here. And then this, Curtain's actually gonna just completely close over. Nice slide over. There. So right, come back out of the hallway. If you go forward, walk right into our master stateroom. Got an island bed. Hatch just overhead. Storage closets to either side. Hanging locker right over here. Cedar lined. And here's your second set of controls for that marine air, or your second marine air unit. And then you've got a vanity sink back here in your master stateroom. Give you one more look here in your master stateroom. And built in drawers underneath that master bed as well. Go ahead and show you these bunks lower tier. It really isn't that hard to do. And we've also got some staining to point out right around this window as well. So that just drops right there. And there's there's your bench as opposed to your bunks. So, all right, stepping back up to the cockpit. Now's when we're gonna peek into those engine, engine hatches. So again, here's your port side. This is your Crusader 350 V8 direct drive inboard engine. Those are quadrajet carburetors. And that's looking over to your starboard side engine. Three batteries in between, two of them are interstates. And we've got 153 gallons of fuel, fuel uh, tanks on either side. Got one on the port side, one on the starboard side. There's that 8KW Westerbeek generator. No hour meter on that. That is gas, as are your engines. You've got a Halon automatic fire suppression or fire extinguisher mounted overhead your generator. There's a uh, six gallon dual source hot water heater just beyond your generator. You can probably see that a little bit better when I when I uh, look down the other hatch, which is what I'll do now. Get around 1,400, under 1,500 hours on these engines. Again, these are uh, Crusader 350s. 454 cubic inch. These are velvet drive transmissions. That's your prop shaft going straight out the boat to your uh, to your prop. There's that dual source hot water heater. And again, another 153 gallons over here. Uh, your waste waste holding tank was on the other side, opposite of your uh, hot water heater. That's about the center of the screen there. So. All right, coming out of your engine room, point out what little bit of wear and tear there is on, on the upholstery back here in the cockpit. 
just about to be expected for this age boat, but do want to point that out and try to represent these boats as accurately as possible. Nobody likes a surprise when you travel any distance to look at a boat in person. So we're trying to save you some trouble showing you all that now. So uh, now this bench seat here is entirely removable and these cushions will snap into place and then you can lift it up. We've got some storage lockers under here. There's life vest in there right now. So uh, dockside water inlet goes in there. 30 amp power plugs right over here. Um, those little hooks is where your ladder, you've got one ladder, you can mount this on either side. A little piece of trim's coming off right there. I want to point that out. Some upholstery right in there. I'll step up to the bow area. There's that Ray Marine. Again, that's a C80 color chart plotter and radar. And this area right here is what that uh, side curtain is that's down in the cabin. So you've got one of those on either side. So you basically have open, open canvas here on the back and closed on the front part of the cockpit. So walk all the way up to the bow. Here's that remote spotlight. And again, that, that windlass is not operational. And it is going to remain that way. The, the seller does not have any interest in repairing it. It's being, being, going to be sold that way. Although we, we do suspect it, it's probably just a solenoid. There's those 230 amp power plugs there. 